What is up guys, it's Soulbash and guess what? They finally announced it. The expansion Firestorm is coming out. Let's see, roughly by the time this gets posted, probably within 12 hours. So we are looking at what is coming out and there is actually a lot more than what has actually been told. So we're going to actually go over all of this and uh, we're gonna walk through this. Get ready for a firefight. The new character is, of course, the Gunslinger, a man of mystery with a heart of gold. The Gunslinger joins our motley crew of heroes dual wielding pistols in the fight against the dark forces who threaten the Avzar. All right, and twin pistols is his class skills, and they are a floating bomb which shoots a bullet towards tar the target and sends it flying. Target's break parry will be ignored. The greater your attack ability is the better flying effect you will get that is very interesting i didn't know that part about that one. uh element blast the gunslinger's attack take on elemental effects each elemental effect lasts 10 seconds main attack causes fire damage if target is hit it activates flame blast and deals fire damage hmm okay ice damage main attack causes freezing damage with a five percent chance to freeze the target for one second so if you were going to go with Neptunes with him, that would put it immediately up to, what, 15% on the first level of it? I believe so. And Thunder Attack, main attack causes uh, thunder damage with a 30% chance to deal four times thunder damage to the target. That's interesting as well. And the third ability, Cunning Leap leaps forward and throws a bunch of grenades which will explode when landing on the ground sending targets into the air that's a nice one and smoke screen drops a smoke bomb to reduce enemy movement speed that's pretty cool all right now getting into one of the huge things that i was looking forward to and hoping to see does well is the 25 versus 25 battle the most fierce 25 versus 25 teams in battle history and I'm very sure they are coming soon. I know there are a lot of competitive guilds in this game, mostly on the US server and the Europe server, but all chaos is about to ensue with this stuff guys. And let's check it out. Uh, battle starts, each attempt costs 10 fortitude. The match time will be between 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. server time. Okay, you can select a channel or you can quick start, and that is an overview pretty much of what the arena is going to look like. It's pretty much wide open with very little stuff to hide behind. This is going to be very interesting. 50 people going ham at one time. Oh my gosh, this is going to get interesting. Right, PvP League. This is a new one that I wasn't aware about. The PvP League is a cross-server tournament that takes place over the course of three days. Players will face off with other players in 1v1 battles and fight their way to the championship round. Now, this is very interesting. Um, I can see this getting very competitive well as well between a lot of guilds and people. And let's see, more new content. The latest edition of Tai Chi Panda also includes new content for base game, including a new chapter. Of course, they had to release a new chapter with the Gunslinger. And uh, new guild and team instances. That is very, very interesting. Right here, as you can see, uh, it's going to be a new instance. That's going to be the new ones they're coming out with for the uh, Gunslinger. And right here, this is interesting as well. Hmm. And for the final, they add are adding in Relic Lord, which looks like a new guild instance that you will be able to do. Uh, that's gonna be very interesting as well to get into. Now, of course, we can't have an expansion without new pets. And these are gonna be probably two of my most favorite ones. I've already played with them a little bit uh, in LA and now they're finally coming to us. Uh, two old enemies have changed sides and joined Tai Chi Panda's roster of pets to assist players on their adventures. The legendary Nemesis and the fearsome Skeleton King, otherwise known as Bone Lord. And 
I believe I did an overview of these guys skills in a video I will leave the video link for that in the description below and you can take a look at it if you are wondering about the stats before it does release in about mm, a little over 12 plus hours and updated storage storage is a place to not to store not only items and shards but also exalt attributes and awakening skills as well what this is great do you know how many characters i have with these actually just sitting on them waiting for them to be able to level up and actually use it for the next one this is going to be awesome outfits are going to be looks like they're going to be in their own little inventory section and what do we have here a wardrobe yep there it is and outfits and it has different ones one through 12. very interesting winged ascension and demigods players now have at their disposal wings that can be ascended to take on even greater attributes and effects also demigods can be brought up to increase the attribute boost that they provide i did not know about this as well this is going to be huge guys this is a humongous update and to be honest it looks like it has been well worth the wait it looks like they really poured more into it than what they actually were going to give us to begin with and i am super excited to be able to log in in about mm, hopefully within 12 hours and finally lay that level 15 gunslinger on the chinese server to rest and not have to lock him back in again and guys that is going to be it for this video as always like comment and subscribe i am soul bash you guys have a nice day